So I'll just get into the moment now. So I'm back with another gin related review. We all know I love the gin. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, I've done quite a few gin related uh, videos. But this time we've got Blossom Hill Gin Fizz. Now we all know Blossom Hill as a wine company, but now they're tapping on to the gin market, what's well, now worth a staggering 1.6 billion pounds, with sales up by 38% from last year. There's a little free fact for you. So, what do we know about Blossom Hill? Well, apparently, the last couple of years, they've been struggling because more posher brands have been taking over the market. So now we've been bringing in the gin with the Blossom Hill, incorporating the fizz, might be clever, but does it live up to his taste? Now they brought out two flavours. This one I've got today is the Rosemary and Sicilian, Sicilian, Sicilian Lemon. Sicilian Lemon, what do we know about Sicilian Lemon? I mean, let me give you a fact about Sicilian Lemon. A Sicilian, Sicilian Lemon is uh, from Sicily. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but it might be. It sounds like it. Anyway, the brought this one and the rhubarb flavour, which I only actually seen one bottle left in my supermarket today. I went to go get it the next day and it was gone. So ended up with this one, Sicilian lemon and rosemary. So what else can I say about it? Apart from I need to taste it. Been talking long enough. So I've done exactly what it said on the label, filled my glass with ice, poured it over my uh, Blossom Hill Gin Fizz, garnished it with some fresh rosemary and a Sicilian lemon, but this isn't any ordinary rosemary, this is Marks and Spencer's rosemary, I'll have you know. Put that one in there. So, see what it tastes like, because this is what I've been waiting for, right? So. Let's move that out of the way a little bit. Wow. First impressions, it tastes like white wine. Well, which it will do, obviously. But there is a hint of something in there. I just can't put my finger on it. But give it another taste. I mean, the lemon flavour is quite strong, and uh, the rosemary water, you can even taste that. This little bit here, it's not really done a lot. But the gin, where is it? But after reading the bottle, it does say a bubble blend of crisp white wine with Sicilian lemon, rosemary, infused water, and a dash of gin. Now, their dash of gin and my dash of gin, I don't know. But you have got to put into the equation, it is only 8.5%. So, it is a perfect drink to enjoy on a hot summer's night, in a beer garden, or at home, on your patio. I don't know, but it's not a bad product. I mean, I'm not being a little bit harsh, it's actually really nice and I can see myself drinking it again. I'm not sure if I'd pay £9 again. So I think that's quite pricey considering most wines around six, seven pound mark. And this is £9 available at Asda. Uh, might be a little bit more expensive in other stores. But yeah, well done, Blossom Hill. Incorporating the gin to the Blossom Hill. Give it a bit of fizz and there you go. Sales are going through the roof. I don't know. I only drank half of it. So I hope you found the review helpful. If you did, pop it a like, put a comment in the box below. And maybe I've inspired you all to go out and go and try it for yourself. I mean, if you want to see me try the rhubarb gin fizz, just let me know. And if you're new to this channel, what you got to do, smash that subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.